So guys, welcome back to the channel and another video. Today we're going to be looking at some more of the things that you can do with the oil update in terms of auto farming. So let's get ourselves over to my oil farm. As we go, you can see there we've got the Mystic Portal sat there waiting ready to go for tomorrow evening when we find out what it is that we're going to get through this portal. So I imagine we'll be sat there waiting on DV's live feed to see what we get. So first up, we have here the fruit tree shakers. So I've got them set up here as free, which um, I think if I went up another level, I could have four with these palm trees because you can set them nice and close together. So you see with the fruit tree shaker, all you need is to feed them with fuel. So I've just put a couple of the diverter valves in and split my fuel feed. These then go down into one of these crate packers, which is a tier two so that I can make the bigger crates. And you see there I'm collecting my large crates of coconuts. So I chose coconuts because they were the highest value fruit to go and sell in a crate. To be honest with you though, although it's cool that you can do it, I don't think it is the most economical use of the fuel. So I'm probably going to knock this down and convert this so that these fuel feeds are just creating barrels of fuel because it just takes so long to farm for the coconuts. So let's move over now to a tree farm that I've built. So this over here is using the sapling planters. So you see I've got four of them running and let's talk our way through one of these here. So first of all, we have the sapling planter. Uh, I'm planting hickory because as you'll see in a minute, I'm making pallets with it below and again, gone for the highest value one. So we put next to the sapling planter, if I can get off the conveyor, we put an industrial lumber mill next to it. And then as the tree has grown, that will then automatically chop it down for us. That then feeds straight into a filter conveyor. So if I open this up, you'll see I've got the sapling going one way and I've got the wood going another, which is a brilliant use of this because you can actually split what comes out of that lumber mill at last now without trying to fluke it. Oh, and anything that's left over that isn't in left or right will just go straight ahead. But there's only the two things falling out of this one. We then have the smallest loop possible built to get ourselves back round to the sapling planter. And I've made this out of all tier two conveyors, especially the two corners because the saplings are still getting stuck on the corners. And it also means that the sapling goes around as fast as possible because I've got so many farms running. I'm, I was having issues with the trees despawning as saplings when they were shooting round. Ah, so as we turned around, we had just missed this one running its way around. So what I've also done to try and stop some despawning is I put another conveyor next to my coal totem, which is running the lumber mill, so that it just drops it down like that and it will fall away um, into space, apart from number one and number three, which are feeding what is happening below. So if we go below to see what we're doing, so you have choices now. You can either have it go all dropping down below and just coming out as wood, in which case I would just feed it into an input output. So then your next choice then is to convert that wood into planks. So this is why I've got two coal feeders at the top feeding below because I've split my wood because I was finding I was having issues if I had a couple of trees cut down at the same time, I would lose, the wood would despawn as it was sat waiting to go into my sawmills down here. So it runs through the sawmills, creates planks. Again, I've put the tier two corners on just to make it a little bit faster. That then goes for a merger because I'm then wanting to collect as many planks as possible to put into this pallet packer. So here I'm making hickory pallets. So the second highest value one after the spirit trees, but 
I couldn't get the spirit trees to work with my sapling planters. They kept disappearing rather than being planted. So I gave up and then that dumps out here into an input output and I get my pallets. So I think the most important thing to remember here is just to do this layout here and make it as small as possible because you just you don't want these trees despawning as they've turned into saplings feeding background especially if you're auto farming because you might not notice that they don't get replanted and you'll come back here and find these sapling planters have emptied themselves out and everything else is running but you're not actually generating anything out of it so guys those are the two things that we've set up so far with fuel uh, we also have a little fuel farm here which is what I'm going to expand, I think, to get rid of my fruit tree shakers. And you'll see that's dumping out fuel and it's, it's going quite quickly, actually. So I'm quite impressed. So I think that's why I'm going to convert the other end back into these here. So we'll just have a quick pop over here just to see. No, we haven't got any saplings growing. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. And I hope you're getting on well we're finding your fragments to open this super new mysterious mysterious portal and um we'll see you in another video laters